Welcome to AC247, I'm Aaron Dean. Police are looking for more people involved in the Riverfront Brawl in Montgomery. The video is viral, many are turning it into memes. It involved boaters, a ferry, and a chair. As the Advocate Channel's Ryan Young reports, police say that there are currently four active warrants. An altercation on a Montgomery, Alabama boat dock over the weekend between a group of white boaters and a black employee escalated into a massive brawl that resulted in multiple arrests. Montgomery Mayor Stephen Reed is calling for justice to be served for attacking a man who was doing his job. It's an unfortunate incident and um, it's something that we're investigating right now. We'll continue to go through that process uh, before we take any additional steps. It all began when the black employee was trying to clear the dock space where the Riverside cruise, the Harriet II normally docks. The cruiser was about to return to shore and needed its space to dock. You know, just doing his job. And for some reason, they didn't like it. They didn't want to move the boat. And he decided to get physical with him. You can see in the video, the black employee on the dock arguing with one of the men from the pontoon boat, and then another shirtless white man charging at the employee and hitting him in the face. Soon after that, you can see several others join in on the attack of the dock employee. In some of the video, which has gone viral, with millions of views, people on the boat can be heard yelling for someone to go help the employee. Then at one point, you can see a young man who has jumped off the boat, swimming ashore to help the man who was being attacked. The boat got closer, the guys and the crew members and everybody got off, and that's when it happened. That's the reason why when they got off the boat, they came right to that smaller boat. And that's when more fighting ensues, turning into an all-out brawl that included several people getting hit over the head with a folding chair. Soon after, officers started trying to take control, handcuffing people in the fight. You know, they were the antagonists of the whole situation. Arrest them, because unfortunately, when things happen, people of color are the first to put, be put in handcuffs. Many questions remain about the melee that appear to be very much split across racial lines. We are fully engaged, and we are doing all of our due diligence to find out exactly what took place. At least two people are dead following a dangerous night of storms in the eastern United States. The storm caused 2,600 flight cancellations, 7,900 delays, and left more than a million people without power. The storm's winds knocked down trees and power lines like this one in Mooresville, North Carolina. A 15-year-old was killed by a fallen tree in South Carolina, and a 28-year-old man was killed by lightning in Alabama. Thousands of Los Angeles city workers are joining actors and writers on strike. The day-long strike is protesting what union leaders say is, quote, repeated labor law violations. Among those on strike workers in the city's sanitation department, employees at the L.A. port and Los Angeles International Airport. Los Angeles city officials say that they are focused on trying to minimize the disruptions to the city's operations. Tuesday night's Mega Millions drawing could bring the largest jackpot in the game's history. An estimated $1.55 billion prize comes after no ticket matched all six numbers on Friday. If one ticket wins the jackpot, the lump sum payment will be, guess what, an estimated $757 million. The last Mega Millions record of nearly $1.54 billion was won in South Carolina back in 2018. Thank you so much for joining us for AC247. For more, go to theadvocatechannel.com and be sure to subscribe on our Advocate Channel YouTube page. For The Advocate Channel, I'm Aaron Dean.